Well, right now, um, his team is working on uh, getting him out today. Uh, as you know, it's 161037 cent. So they're working really hard to get. I think by the end of the day, it'll happen. No later than tomorrow. Uh, you know, R. Kelly um, has had a lot of issues with finances. And so right now, uh, with uh, you know, things going on in his life, you know, child support, can't get booked. Uh, he can't go out and tour, can't do anything. And uh, just bad management you know, throughout the years has, has hurt him. And so he's, uh, he's strapped for cash. What's there, the state of mind? Um, Ms. Ke Ms. Kelly, um, is, um, he wasn't expecting what happened yesterday to happen. So he's really upset about that. He was expecting to walk in and walk out, and that just didn't happen. So um, right now, um, he's, at, he's at Wiss Inn. He's, he's, he wants to get out. My heart goes out to um, the families. I have a 20-year-old daughter, and I could not imagine um, just thinking that she would held hostage. I mean, that would kill me. So on yesterday, I arranged a call. I'm the one that arranged that call. I called the attorney, and I told him um, I wanted to get uh, his daughter on the phone so she could talk to them to let them know that she was okay. So I'm the one that arranged the call. The attorney said, uh, that's good. How long? I told him 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, I had a um, young lady on the phone. Um, it was just her and me. Uh, Mr. Kelly wasn't even in the building. There was no coercion. And uh, like I said, uh, my heart goes out to uh, the families and all the victims uh, that had uh, allegedly said that they've, they've been um, mistreated. I'm not here to declare innocence for anyone. R. Kelly is my client, just like I have hundreds of other clients across the country, NFL players, CEOs. That's, this is what we do. So I'm, I'm, I'm acting as um, um, a person that represents a guy.